Good morning, everybody. Thurs Sizzle here. We're in Stewart, Florida this morning, inshore still, because we're still catching bait. And I'm just dumping my net real quick. Let me, let me switch the horn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah. Okay, never mind. All right, so, throwing my net this morning. We are headed offshore deep sea fishing, but you gotta make sure you got fresh bait first thing in the morning. And if you can throw the cast in on some bait, that's what I like to start the day. I'm already super happy. We got dozens and dozens of bait. Blacked out well. Nice job, Josh Sizzle. Yeah, we're going offshore steward today. Got Silent Frank with us, and uh, I'm gonna clean my screen with all that water she just got on it, and we're ready to go. Beautiful morning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, gonna keep you guys advised of what we're doing today. First stop, sand pile, as usual. I think the first major wreck on the way out of Stewart. Frank already lost the hook. I got the mics all set up. Not trolling today. Not trolling today because it's been a west wind. Good, good, good point, our sizzle. Uh, we've had a, a variable wind over the last several days. It was out of the southwest this morning, so we decided not to troll. Haven't had a lot of great things about trolling. So uh, we can either drift some baits, if we see some good water, and of course we're going to do a lot of wreck fishing today. Yeah. And they're on sand pile. Darcy also saw a lot of bait on the sand pile today so far. We don't yes. need to catch any because we already have a ton. Yep. So let's see what happens. Load it up. I he's love so, the summer. He's so proud of himself. Yes. So much better than spending buying baits. She saved, she saved Frank a lot of money on bait this morning. <laughs> right, Frank? <laughs> now I got fresh juicy baits all day long and I don't have to like save each bait. It's a good thing. Scissors hooked up, we're at the second spot. Got a fish on, he's warming, coming up fast actually. Woo, and popped right off. <sighs> I don't know what that was. Either it got sharked or it came off. Son of a gun. Draw Sizzle's getting a bite. Thanks. Speak up. The anticipation. On. Reel them up, woman. Dude. There we go. It's coming to the surface, I think. Get him up, Sizzle. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh, this. I'm just wait, no, no, no. Pick your rod up. Pick your rod up. There you go. There you go. There you go. Real. You got a fish on too. Hold on. Go, kids. Let me get past you. Both you got to go underneath on. me or one of the two. Go, ladies. Get those groupers up here. French fish is all up front for some reason. Woo, come on, baby. Get up here. Let's go, Sizzle. You got the net cam. Oh, I hear Frank's line going off. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's a big snook. Oh, God. Get, he's stuck on the thing. Oh, I got him. <laughs> oh my god, we got a slot snook out here! What? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Get him, help him. What's he got? Big king, big king. Oh, all right, hold this. I gotta get him. What the heck? Hold on. Big kingfish. All right, this is a pain in the butt because we got this long leader. It's got a mono leader. And it's <laughs> really hard because it's got... Come on, fish. I can't see him. So close. I know, I know. Oh! My girlfriend. I'm sorry. That was totally my fault. All right, all right, all right. Dugan style. All right. I got a slot. I don't know if it's a slot, but I got a snook in the boat. What Ooh. the heck? My first deep sea snook. This is literally crazy. Dude, look at this. Look at this snook I just caught offshore. I mean, I've heard of them offshore before, but this is definitely like a first for me. Oh, kingfish flipping. That is a beautiful, healthy snook right there. He's blown up too because you're so deep. Yeah, look how beautiful though. Let's get a quick measure. That's why he's not moving. Oh my God, it's a slot. Nice slot, oh Sizzle. Oh my God, it's a slot, baby. Yeah. It's a slot all day. Yep, 31. Guys, look how deep. What the heck? 85 foot deep. I just caught a slot snook, my first snook ever, deep sea fishing, and it's a keeper with less than two weeks to go of snook season. Look at the shoulders on that girl. We got some heavy, beautiful fillets right there. That is wild, absolutely wild to me. She's all blown up. You can see her stomach sticking yeah, out because I reeled her up from deep water. Pretty wild, y'all. 
now you guys can come out here and do this too because I'm going to share it on the Fish Angler app so you can come out here and try to catch a slot snook in the deep sea. That is wild, isn't it? Yeah. Totally wow, crazy. guys. A uh, first. That's why you never know. Fishing's awesome because you never know what you're going to catch out here. With that fish angle up, you know, another thing that it shows you is the moon phases. And we have a, a major coming up really soon, so that's real important. We want to make sure we're in a good position. We're not traveling from spot to spot, spot to spot. We had nice fresh baits in the water during that time period. So uh, follow Darcy on that fish angler. A sizzle offshore, and you see the spots. And you can also, you know, use their tools for weather and moon phases and all kinds of great stuff. Nice, Frank's nice, nice. Up. Frank is hooked up. Fight that fish, fight that fish. Get the net, get the net. Color, looks like a mutton. Baby, hopefully it's a keeper. It's deep, it could be big. It's a big one. It's not a big That's one. That's a keeper. We'll see. It's gonna be close. Nice, Frank. I think he's got a keeper in the boat, 100%. Close. Yeah, baby. I don't know about 100%. I think it is. It's gonna be 18 and a half. Nice, muttons are biting. It's getting tore up right now. Is he there? Is he sitting on the bottom with it? Yes. Well, get him up. He's just sitting there. Get him up. Urgh. Get up here. Oh, that rope just burned me. It's a big fish. It's coming to the surface. King. Big kingfish, you're right. Another big king? Looks like it. Huge leader. Yeah, very, very long. I guess I gotta get the leader. All right, bring that leader towards me. Like, Whoa, kingfish just flew out of there on that. On that, Frank. The thing just flew out of the water. Skied on it. He might have just took the bait and we'll cut it off. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a king. You don't think this is a king? No, it's not a king. Oh. Woo, big AJ. All right. I was getting excited there. <laughs> I thought yeah, I might have been a grouper. It. it was coming up really weird. Yeah, it was. It was coming up weird. Oh, man. Woo. All right. It's the AJ that fooled me. That's our keeper, too. Oh, it's on. Big it, kingfish. He's on, Frank. Oh, it's the dolphin, dolphin, dolphin. Reel right. him in. Oh, no. Is he on? He's popped. Right, gotta get go, another flat go. line right back out. He's gone. All right, a little mayhem. Darcy's fish turned out to be an AJ. He wasn't acting right, acted real weird. And then a, a king, I saw a kingfish go flying through the air on our, 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 on our flat line, July Pilchard. And he totally missed it, which they do all the time. And then a dolphin got on it and broke it off. Nuts. All right, y'all. Here's my AJ that I just fought on that super long leader, which is not meant for that. But at the same time, he's in the boat. That's what on, matters. Brian. Frank's getting a bite. This is a keeper fish. I made the decision not to release this fish. I'm going to give it away to friends and families and neighbors and people who actually need something to eat during these tough times. And everybody appreciates fresh fish. Who doesn't love fresh fish? Amberjack is one of those fish that you can, it, you can cook it a variety of different ways and it's amazing. So let's get this guy in the box. Let's get him bled. Let's catch some more fish. What happened, Frank? Nothing? You lost him? Get him. I got him. Get him, Brian. Get him, Brian. Nice. Get him. Try and crank that drag. Brian's got fish on. He's not talking. <laughs> got a fish on one of my flat lines. All right, it could be a kingfish. We got a mono line, so it could break off at any moment. Looks like a kingfish. Yeah, king. Woo, smoking ya. We can get the net, probably. Get the net. Oh, we're going to throw him back, right? Kingfish in the oh, net. Oh, we just cut the net. We're not, we're not doing that again. That's oh, why you don't get the kingfish. God, a brand new net. Huge hole. <laughs> That's what I've been telling Brian all morning. We're not trying to net kingfish. We just learned our lesson. Hardcore on a $300 net. Nice, kingfish. He opened his mouth and it just went right through. Yep. I got it on film. Unreal. All right, we gotta let them let him go. Well, Thanks let him a go, lot. So, You're getting good karma. Let Save, him go. Lost the net, saved the stupid kingfish. Yeah. Just trying to let you go, not break my net in half. All right, real quick. Here he goes. Woo! Just took off. 
you really want to get them out of the boat as soon as possible, especially if you want to release those guys. They got to constantly be moving real fast and dunk them head first. You should be good to go. Learn from our mistakes. Do not gaff. Do not net kingfish, period, y'all. Don't do it. Huge hole. He went right through it. We're bumping from spot to spot and it's almost noon, lunchtime, and we have tough conditions out here. We have been trying to put a boat in, a fish in the boat for a couple hours now with no luck, getting a bunch of cutoffs from kingfish, king mackerel, which is great, but we don't really want to catch king mackerel. You can put on your wire trace on there and catch all the kingfish in the world that you want, but we're trying to weed through the kingfish to get some, some good fish, like that crazy snook I caught, maybe a decent mutton or even a grouper. Uh, so we're just here. I got even a longer leader now, about 30 foot running here, but with no current, it makes the fishing very tough. And yeah, I know you're probably asking, why is there no current out here in the middle of the deep ocean? It, it just is like that. Some days it's ripping, some days it's not ripping. The Gulf Stream changes every day of where it is. And uh, you know, as far, as far as how close it comes to the Florida coast. So we just have to see, we're gonna put in a little more time here. And I got fresh juicy pilchards that I caught. So I'm already happy, but I would like to top it off with icing on the cake with another nice fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and just to hop on what Darcy said, you know, it's been, like I mentioned in the beginning, it's been a variable wind, there's a lot of west in it, and so that's going to push the Gulf Stream further out. So we're not going to get as much current in shore or near shore uh, on the flats outside of, uh, on the shelf outside of Stewart. So, you know, we don't have much current right now. It's between moon phases. We got the new moon coming up in about four or five days where the fishing should improve. So uh, that's just the situation, you know, and, and so we came back to where we caught some fish before. And not to complain, just telling you guys what's going on and what we're doing and why you might be catching fish and, and not catching fish. And, you know, we got, we're using mono leaders and we have a ton of live pilchards. So if there's fish out there, you know, we should be getting them. And we got four great fish so far and threw yeah. back a bunch. I mean, we got a mutton, amberjack, a, a slat Jumped snook, a mahi. and a kingfish. And you hopped the mahi and, you know, threw some kings back and stuff. And so, you know, it's, it's awesome. We're fishing great. Uh, so, just, but, you know, again, just letting you know what's going on so you guys can catch him too and keep on catching what happened something just ate it right there oh so a lot of short months today remember the other day we had no short buttons shark fish oh, on Frank has a fish on it only i caught a short the other day oh my god we had more current so you know when the conditions are worse no current you're gonna catch yep. smaller dumber fish got something on all right guys Let's see what it is. We moved over to bull shark. Oh, screamer. Bull shark barge. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Bluefish. Just for some fun, bent some rods. Nice. Oh my God. Another species. Oh. Got a feisty Woo! one. Get him, Brian. <laughs> Come on. Stop him. Get him, Brian. You got a Kobe on. You got a bluefish on, huh? You got a Kobe on. Yep, reverse it. I got it. Get on that fish before Goliath eats it. Could be just a bonita. I don't know. You want to go over there, follow your fish? <sighs> He's over here. Oh, color. This is a bonita. I'm going to be so mad. Huge bonita, dude. Oh, my God. It's 30 pounds. Dude, we just need to get a tuna like this. Oh, my God, Brian. How did you catch this monster? <sighs> That's the biggest bonita we've ever put on our boat. Holy cow! Do you see the size of that bonita? Oh my lord. Brian, show the camera. That is the biggest bonita we've ever put on our boat. 100%. <laughs> Why can't we get a black fin that big? That is Holy cow, look insane. at this bonita. Brian got worked. That's all day 30 pounds. <laughs> look at that thing. I gotta film this thing for my story. This thing's insane. Brian's fish. That's a huge bonita, man. Big fish. Look at his shoulders on him. I mean, he's huge. We just wish he was a black fin. <laughs> Holy cow, do you guys see that thing? That rod is no joke. That is a pretty serious jigging rod, Panther jigging rod. Uh, the tower goes 8,000, and man, did some work. I know. Frank said, Frank, Brian beat me work. on that battle. Crazy. Got a little blue fish. Oh, Darcy, Darcy caught a blue fish. I'm showing it to them. Oh, nice. That's cute. That's cute. I can't even see it. It's gone. Hold them up again. Let's let them go. Hold them up again. Too late. That's a cocktail. Which might even be a snapper. Blue fish. Yeah. 
I'm looking for a real snapper species, not a snapper bluefish, but that's cool. Another species in the boat. Oh, he just threw the hook, perfect. Perfect. Must that circle hook in the corner, let's let him go right away. All the good fish that I'm letting go today, hopefully the fish gods are doing good by me, because we did catch that crazy, bizarre slot snook in the deep sea. <laughs> But we're trying to see what else we can pull off here before this afternoon thunderstorm start. So might do another drift here, get right on top of the structure here at the bull shark. This is a local public spot, y'all. Just look it up on Google. Google is your friend and come out here and have some fun. We are just taking us some pictures with our cats today, thumbnails, you know, the stuff we got to do, our job. Thumbnail life. But pretty good day considering it was a slow day. We had a fired up morning there. We caught some dinner. And we got a big bait, big bonita, which we're gonna use for bonita strips. We can always use those. So it was all in all a great day. Can't yeah, and we're gonna give this amberjack and like the kingfish away to Lisa. Yes. And to yep. all the people, awesome. Yep. Exactly. You got nothing else to say? No, that's it, we had a great day, I'm so happy. Okay. We've got a ton of pilchards, we've got a ton of fish. Yeah. It's early, we're going in, it's going in because of the storms. Yep. The current wasn't that great, but we caught a ton of fish, who cares? Right, exactly. All right. Can't wait to come right back out here, up here and do it all again. <laughs> all right, y'all. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did see like this little necklace and stuff, I got some new stuff available on the website. Please go ahead and check that out. A lot of awesome charms available now for purchase. Yes. So thank you all so much for watching. Until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.